Hello Pisces, this is a love reading. It is timeless, so whenever you get to it, there can be a message here for you. And just remember, they're general. It may or may not apply. If you like a personal reading with me, that information is in the description box. And I want to thank all of you who have reached out to me and all of you who have subscribed. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell for it truly helps my channel grow. And I'm grateful for all of you for doing that. So let's start with your chakra. Let's see what chakra needs some loving healing at this time. This one wanted to come up. Well, I'm telling you, the heart chakra has just been coming out just about for everyone. So, which is great because it is about love. This is the 5D. So it's about receiving and giving love. It's about expansion of the heart, about choosing love. Love is the way to go. And as you really bring a place of healing and trusting your heart, you're really expanding when it comes to any area of your life. So this is meditate on the color green, eat greens, and really spend time um, around nature. Nature is green, so it's telling you to really heart expand and come from a place of your heart so this is you know do things that are based on love the question is what would love do right so let's get to past present future so we have the past card which is chariot okay and let's see we have the nine of swords in reverse in your present situation wow followed by the nine of cups in the future and as an advice from spirit, there's just two, the spirit has a lot to say, but I'm gonna put these back in. And look at this, choices, Gemini. But I'm gonna have to pull one more on that. What is, that could also be a twin flame connection. And again, too many cards that are coming out. Let me just put one more on that, one more card, nope. Why do I want to take that one? Okay, wow. Wheel of Fortune, this is insane. Okay, let's get started. Chariot in the past position, making a decision to move forward. It is the Chariot. Some of you could also be dealing with a Cancer. But when the Chariot card appears, it is telling you, you know what, you're ready. You've let go of the past. It's like, you know what, you made a decision. You're going to move forward. There was a lot of teachings to bring harmony and balance between the light and the shadow aspect of yourself or of life. And this is really taking control. Some of you could actually be moving. Some of you could also be moving um, or purchasing a car. But this is having strong will. This is when the chariot inside of you is focused. It is focused in meeting um, your destiny. This is moving towards that. This is like that sacred mission, living in alignment with your spiritual and magical abilities. The chariot, moving, movement, a lot of movement here. This is, you're moving towards what? So we have the nine of swords in the present. Anytime there is a... Um, Reversal, I stopped for a second, it is blocked energy. So this is internal. So it's asking you, don't go back into, you just, you made a decision to move forward. So there can be some fears, but it's internal. Don't allow this to come back into your mind again, because I feel that this is something, those nightmares and anxieties and things of that nature that you have already gone through. So this is saying, be careful you don't go back into this. This is blocked energy. So you're, maybe you're blocking yourself mentally from, you know, moving forward from your fears, from your anxiety and really trying to break through that. But it's a part of you that's inside of you. That's the subconscious mind. So really be very conscious in your present moment in regards to your move, whatever that movement is, whether you are actually moving or moving um, towards moving in within a relationship, whatever that is for you, it is saying that be careful, be conscious that you don't take yourself back into a place of anxiety. In your future, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups, hello, wishes, fulfillment, happiness, true happiness. This is all the cups are filled. We're one away from the Ten of Cups. And this is saying that the future is looking very beautiful, that there's a warning. So don't go into a fear in your present in regards to your wishes and happiness and what's going to happen for you because, wow, these cards next to it. Here you could also be dealing with a twin flame or a Gemini or needing to make a decision. So some of you can be making a decision into moving forward towards your own happiness 
okay? And not be in the relationship that you are. Some of you are making a decision to move towards your happiness with somebody. And so it's gonna be different for all of you, okay? So not everyone has the same story. The Wheel of Fortune shows up and it says, wow, the Wheel of Fortune, it's time for you to turn the wheel. This is faded, it's destiny. So if some of you, your wish and your desire was to really move out of a relationship by following your heart, okay? Um, you're in your mind about it, in duality about it, but this is about what is happiness and wishful fulfillment for you. The lover's card says to make that decision, make the choice, because this is faded. This is unseen possibilities. This is when there's a turn of events, and this is saying it's destined. It's a chase, change of course that is happening, that is heading your way. And the universe is saying to really, um, to allow this wheel to turn, because it's turning for um, a better way. So this is positive, positive change when it comes to union, positive change when it comes to relationships. Now, this is whether this is you're already in a relationship that before you had a lot of anxiety over, but now it's saying, you know, the wheel is turning. And for those that are single, it's saying, hey, whatever you had anxiety, if you were going to receive that love and that happiness ever after, you made a decision to move towards that. So don't go back on your decision and allow this wheel to turn. Either way you look at it, it is incredibly, incredibly positive. So let's go with my twin flame card and let's see. For the chariot, we have the card that says healers. Yeah, absolutely. And then we have this. So look at this with the chariot. Magical, mystical, shaman, seers, witches, and psychics. You're moving towards your own abilities. You're moving towards, you're realizing that you have more strength and you have more gifts and more talents um, than, than you knew before. You're really expanding, you're opening yourself up towards this, towards your whole healing abilities and your magic and your uh, psychic ability. So some of you can also be readers, whatever, or Reiki masters, whatever this is for you, but this really is um, really knowing that you could sit and do like magic. You can do new moon magic, full moon magic, any of those things that could really, you can expand yourself in this, you know, Pisces, I know that you're very intuitive. So Pisces are already healers to begin with. And this really is you're moving even closer to that. Here with weakness, I wasn't strong enough for you. It goes great with the nine of swords in reverse. So this is really coming out of that mental energy. When you recognize that, when you recognize, you know, your own um, weakness, which is not a bad thing, but you're recognizing where your strength is. Where did you give up of yourself, of your own authenticity? Where'd you give in to thoughts that were subconscious? Where'd you give in to fears? So this is a realization of that, okay? And then the other cards that want to come out, let's see. And I'm just going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a card that fell on the floor. And I do have the card that says, timing not meant to be right now. So this is saying, okay, Right now, don't rush. This is a future card, right? But within the present, just here, really don't go back into things that aren't going to work out for you because the universe says when. So not if something wasn't meant to be at that time, know that there's a reason and a purpose for it because the wheel is absolutely going to turn on that, okay? So before it wasn't timing for those things to happen okay and then it's saying that wow now it's timing the timing is coming this is about synchronicity this is about timing and here i have the card of wedding yes i've waited lifetime for you so some of you here the wheel turns there's a decision that is based on you know they weren't ready before to commit they weren't ready before to move in they weren't ready before to move in together it wasn't timing but for some of you this is coming out and saying that, yes, I've waited for this very moment, this union, this happiness that is coming in, okay? And this is what is coming up at the bottom of the deck. I have realization, I'm the fool, I screwed up. Again, it's going beautifully. So allow timing, allow things that are faded to come in, really trust these energies right now. And so this isn't that every Scorpio is gonna get married, but if that is for the commitment, whatever it is that you've been waiting on, so if some of you had to let go 
so you can come into alignment with someone that you will have a commitment with. And some of you are coming into this realization, you know, that where were you mentally? You know, where was your mind mentally? And if it was you, then you can mend things and bring things back into harmony. Let's go with the romance angels and let's see. We have release your ex. So it says the time has come to clear your energy. Absolutely. Because you're moving forward. You're healing. You're healing the past and anyone who had hurt you within a past connection. And then we have the card of codependency, which was in reverse. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And we're seeing that here. So if somebody was so much in the head or using any kind of substance or was very codependent and here was leaning on you too much, it is really realizing, you know, what was really affecting the relationship. It wasn't so much the person, but what the person was codependent on, what the person was using as a vice and really needed to understand that. And you really needed to understand that, you know, were you code codependent and was that affecting your love life? And you really want to come into that place here. We have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And this comes with timing that wasn't meant to be. So some of you, this could have been a friend. Some of you, this is somebody that you had met before, but the timing wasn't right for some of you. You're re getting to know um, this new version of the old person that you are with because they have broken through that because if people do the work and we're able to break through codependency and weakness and uh, the negativity of the mind, then there's a new version of self that shows up, right? And then you get to know each other. You get to know the person that you, um, that you hadn't met, but it's the same person, just a new person, <laughs> um, right? And then we have... The card that came out, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And this card is saying, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And so this is the turn of events. So for some of you, there can be a past person or the person that you're with, and you're really discussing how you can turn the wheel together and have an honest communication. And for um, others of you, if this is a friend or somebody that is coming in, so somebody wants to really tell you how they truly feel about you. So let's go with my archetype. I don't know why that one. I'm going to turn this one this way. Okay. So let's see which cards want to come out. I'm going to take this card. It says inspires you to put compassion into action advocate. So this is beautiful because yes, what you are doing is that you're being inspired and I'm seeing with uh, the chariot card which says compassion into action because the chariot card is it all about action it moves forward it is moving forward into releasing any negativity that was holding one back and this is very beautiful because it's dedicated to inspiring others and this is what it's saying you know you're just dedicated in helping others also to transform so you're the advocate for that and why because you have magical and healing abilities <laughs> so many cards want to come out but i will take this card and subscribe so it says preserving knowledge and information so this is you know when you're doing any shadow work and you get to write things down and as you're writing as you're subscribing right as you are really um, bringing more knowledge or learning about shadow work or learning about things really expansion and really raising your vibration. This is really making a commitment. So some of you could be blogging, some of you could be writing, some of you could really be helping others also to expand their own consciousness because what the scribe is all about, you know, helping others also expand and um, creating new, a, this is like creating a new story here. So it's about journaling and things of that nature. So you really wanna journal and look at your past effects. And then I'm going to pull a power of love. So let's see what message wants to come out. Willingness, you're able to compromise if the end result is love. Like I said, for some of you, or if you are in a relationship that the timing was not right, it is all about love. It is not about codependency. It's not about manipulation. It's about releasing all your past experiences about your exes, the person that you're with today is not your ex. Um, but if you're treating that person as if that person is your ex, then you kind of want to look through that. And then the next card out 
is kindness. You're a humanitarian made of love and you're able to share that energy with others. Yes, very much goes with the card of healing. Last card is airplane. Spread your wings and fly. Yes, it's time to raise your vibration and to really travel lightly on this journey of love. Sending you much love, much light. Namaste.